tell us a little bit more about this procedure and how it's different from the TAVR procedure that we talked about a little earlier. So the mitral clip procedure, the main difference between the, a TAVR and a uh, mitral clip is first, you were talking about a different valve. For each valve of the heart, they're constructed in a different way, so you need a different type of procedure to treat it. The other difference is that when we're treating patients with a TAVR or TAVR, for the most part, those patients have a valve that's too tight, and that's called a stenosed valve. For the mitral clip procedure, what we're actually doing is the valve is leaky and we're making it a little bit tighter or stenosed. So you can see in the diagram there that you're taking a catheter and you're pulling together the two leaflets for the mitral valve and in a sense you're stitching them and you only have, you have a much smaller area of leakiness than you had before. Okay, and echocardiography is used during this procedure, right? Yes, exactly. So this is one of my favorite procedures because it's all echo guided. Ten years ago, we wouldn't be able to do this procedure because we didn't have the Im imaging technology to do so. So the whole procedure, I'm going back and forth with the interventionalists and we're making sure that we're exactly in the right place, that we're clipping the right, um, we're pulling the right types of valves together and we're having the best outcome that we have for the patients. Once we put in the clip, then we need to know, did we actually make a difference? Did we make too much of a difference? And did we close the valve too much? And this is something that needs to be assessed on a second-to-second -second basis.